Hey guys, this is Patrick from fine-tunedfast.com. So in this episode, I want to show you how to deploy a OCR model uh, in production. So I'm going to deploy this GOT OCR2 model, which is a pretty new uh, and super um, yeah, optimized with good performance and, cur and accuracy. Uh, just some screenshots here. Uh, it's able to basically detect like everything in documents, even if it's a um, scientific paper or something, it uh, can get the scene text and fine grained OCR and so on. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So first of all, we would deploy a pod on runpod we go and use the community cloud uh, i would say 24 gigabytes of vram is enough to run that model depending on the speed but uh, we try that so like i said usually i go and use the ssh terminal access but i'm going to show you um, how it works in the web terminal we would like to expose port 8000 and just to make sure um, I'm not quite sure how big that model is. Um, okay, it's quite small, so we should be all right with 20 gigabytes of container disk. So yeah, let's get started. Once the server is started, we can go and click connect, start a web terminal and connect to the web terminal. We can then go to the workspace directory as everything else is not persistent, meaning that if you restart the server, everything will be gone. So first of all, we do a update and then we would get uh, the Vim, install Vim. Once that's done, uh, we create the server.py file and copy all. Once that's done, we can basically save the file and start the server. Um, I'm using litserv here to basically serve the uh, model, uh, which is super nice. And yeah, we, we are going with a temp file like we generate a temp file from the URL, which is the input uh, parameter. And yeah, let's get started with the actual deployment. So first of all, we do a Python server.py. Uh, let me see there's some syntax error. Yeah, I actually, forgot the indention here and this should work now. So let's try it again. So we do a pip install libserv and see if it works. Pip install transformers as well. And we run it again. Looks like it should work. Um, actually, the model needs to have tick token as well, so we install that requirement too. And then we can see that the model is being downloaded. Oh, another one. And hopefully it will work just now. Yeah, seems like, oh, wow. 
Usually I would prepare a requirements.txt uh, file in the fine-tuned fast boilerplate, but as we do that live here in the video, we just install it one by one. So now it's downloading. Perfect. Yeah, after the model successfully downloaded, uh, we can see that worker zero is completed, meaning it's running. So we go back to run pod, click on connect to HTTP service and go to the docs endpoint. I actually prepared a test. We can see um, the client.py file in the boilerplate, but we are going to test it via um, the Swagger endpoint. This one is actually the picture I'm going to test. So let's send that one to the API. Okay, yeah, that one is definitely not working because uh, we cannot specify any uh, JSON body here. So we need to use the Python script. For that, we just go to Visual Studio Code and exchange that here. Uh, I was working on some rec chat with YouTube thing before, so let me just jump in. Client.py. Yeah, there we go. Output. Handwriting, people are always asking about my handwriting and so on. We can also check that with the JSON formatter. Looks pretty cool. Small issues, I guess, but the, the settings can be considered as not optimized, so you can choose the parameter OCR type format or OCR here and several other things which I won't cover in this video. But um, to go back here, we have chosen the OCR um, type OCR. So yeah, guys, this is pretty awesome to deploy a, a Open source and open source OCR um, API. If you are into fine tuning and AI stuff in general, I hope you leave a um, like and subscribe and consider checking out finetunefast.com. Thank you so much for watching.